Wanted to understand the machinery tab? In a series of videos, I'm going to talk about using machinery. My name is Quickness, but before I start, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel. This is incredibly important for promoting my channel. Also put a like on this video. Let's start with the sources of electricity. Battery. This is the weakest source of electricity. Accumulator. Slightly more powerful than the battery. But because this particular source of electricity does not transmit by touch. Generator. A dangerous source of electricity for humans. The generator will electrocute you if you touch it. Quite lethal. Industrial generator. The most powerful source of energy. This generator gradually builds up energy. It takes 16.5 seconds. Instantly kills entities when touched. Power gauge. This machine allows you to determine the amperage. Actually, this machine is pretty useless as it shows undefined values. I asked the developer about this as I was a bit confused. Here's what I found out from the developer's reply. Which means the value on the display is 320 units. But it isn't. The value of 320 is shown as 500. The developer himself doesn't know why. So, a few facts about electricity. Objects transmit electricity between each other, but not wood. Accumulator does not transmit electricity through touch, but in water this property is lost. If you energize some other mechanical devices with electricity, they will be amplified. I won't talk about this in detail, but I can make a separate video about it. The charge of electricity from two sources of electricity does not add up. For example, if you wire a generator machine that has a charge of 100 and a battery that has a charge of 5 to a power gauge machine, the power gauge will have a charge of 100. Generators can be broken. You can fix them in the context menu. You can also toggle indestructibility there. Some machines have a double and a single mode. The single mode is a toggle. This mode works like a light switch. So when activated, the other machine will only get one signal. The double mode works differently. The activation has to be hold for the signal to be transmitted. To elaborate, this mode will transmit two signals guaranteed. The first signal when activation is detected and the second signal when activation is lost. These modes are not included in all machines. I will mention it with a hand on the screen so that I don't have to keep saying the same thing all the time. Also, all machines have the option to turn off temperature damage. Small button and button this machine is activated by pressing the red part. When force is applied to the press part, a signal is transmitted. For the large button, you need to apply more force for the activation to be transmitted. Activation toggle. This little box with a light in the middle is needed to constantly transmit a signal. When active, it transmits a constant signal. Activator electrode activates everything in front of it that is no further than 0.2 meters away from it. Activation fuse, a disposable tool for transmitting a signal. When activated, it transmits one signal and disappears forever, self-destructing. Key trigger, this trigger allows you to create your own hotkeys. There is a button in the context menu that you can use to set the button you want. You can also write a description that will be shown in the detail view. Metronome, a special device with which you can transmit a signal through a certain frequency. The maximum value is 32. One unit of time is equal to one second. Radio transmits a signal between two or more radios that are linked together by a single channel. To customize the channel, you need to change this in the context menu of each radio. The name of the channel can be anything, as numbers or letters. The signal is transmitted when any radio is activated. Lag box. This small box delays the incoming signal for a specified time. The minimum time is 0.04 seconds and the maximum time is 60 seconds. When a signal is detected, the machine is activated and after the specified time, the signal is sent next. Gate. This machine is a limiting gate for the signal. The limiter is electricity. This machine has two options in the context menu, the threshold value and the maximum strength of the electricity. In order for the signal to pass through this gate, you need the force of electricity to be either equal to or greater than the threshold value. The orange bar shows the strength of the electricity and the bottom stick the threshold. There is also a light on the right side. If it is green then the signal will pass through the gate. Timed gate, another type of limiter gate. The limiter for this machine is time. In the context menu you can change the timer time. The maximum value is 16 seconds. When the timer is active, the signal cannot pass through this machine. Laser pointer. This laser pointer emits a laser, but it's needed for the activator, which we'll talk about a little later. This machine has a color change option, which can be found in the context menu. Laser receiver. The activator I mentioned earlier. It transmits a signal when the laser ray touches it. Toggleable mirror. I didn't want to move this object to other videos, so I'll talk about it here. This glass is used for laser light. 
it reflects the laser ray, so you can use this glass to make the path of the laser ray. If you power it with electricity, the glass will disappear, so the laser ray will not be reflected. Check out this video as well. I hope you enjoy them too.